Just want to do a quick video on uh, additional items or modifications I've done on my Jayco SLX 212 QBW bumper uh, cap. This is the stock one and uh, critters could get in this hole right here. This is the original one. It is put in this RV uh, bump, bumper cap and it has a, uh, you can see that small holes right there. That's actually for, um, you know, allow air in and at the same time doesn't allow bugs in so I've drilled a hole on it so it just won't fall off typically they fall off driving vibration whatever it may be but drill the hole right there put a nail to hold it in place so just pull that out and squeeze it and as you know this is the uh, black water hose there it is Rhino purchased that as well another item that I've added instead of the stock one twist that and again this is a squeeze drill the hole right there cap that here's that nail keep it in place let me show you how it should be so look at the bottom drawer if I open it up it opens up all the way right and the top one, it came from the factory. And if you open it up, it used to open just right there and it stops. And the reason for that is this pipe is in the way. And right here in the connector is actually in the way. So what I did was, if you look at right here, I use a drill, a drill bit, drill bit, sheet rock saw, a file, if you look at the shape on that, but this is what I used. And right after I used this, I used a file and sandpaper to smooth it out. Or a Dremel, cut a piece right there. And again, this connector right here was in the way, and that's why you could only open it up right here. If you do not know any better, and knowing that this could go open all the way out, and a lot of people will probably just yank it um, and uh, probably end up breaking the uh, pipe along the process. And that's another modification I've done on this travel trailer. There it is. Just a uh, quick cut right there, a groove to clear up that pipe. Now it opens all the way, just like the one at the bottom. All right, here's another thing I did on this refrigerator. See this bars right here? It's actually adjustable. The purpose of this uh, bars is to prevent uh, your food, uh, your water, uh, jug of milk, um, box of milk, whatever it may be, orange juice from shifting while your uh, travel trailer is in transport and uh, you know from accidentally opening up the refrigerator. Here's another accessory and it's called the quick release. It's an add-on. You saw me install this uh, TV mount. And um, what I did was added this thing right here. It's an add-on item. And what it does is during transport, I always take off the TV, uh, quick release. And here's the TV. It's a two-piece item. And again, the idea is yank this out of here. Here's the second piece. It just slides on. Look at this right here. Let me hold it in place. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and, and show it to you guys. Boom. Here it is. That snaps in place. And that's what I mean by uh, quick snap. And to remove it, all you have to do is press that and lift up. And it's a quick release. And typically, now I get to put it back in the box during transport uh, the craftsmanship is not that perfect so there's a few things I actually did let me take it off so when I took delivery this thing was just like that laying down and was just moving around and that's why it caused this scratch right here during transport as well so I'm pretty handy so what I did was kind of look underneath what's holding it uh, in place and there was nothing holding it. The reason why it was bouncing around is this one was pressed down, both of them actually right here. 
and there it was pressed down. So all I did was lifted it to a point where you could snap it in place. Go ahead. And you just push it in right here, put it in a slot right here, and now it's in place. That's how you go about that. So a little bit of minor repair, um, and uh, now it's in place, and you can put this back. Bam! Just sandwich that baby. Cool. Here's the cover. Uh, easy assemble. You put the piece together. There it is. Added that. Didn't come with it. And uh, just slap it on, slide it downward, and underneath, holding it with a bungee and they uh, also um, paracord. So there it is. Uh, stay tuned, I got this from Amazon. I'll be mounting this too as well. Um, as you know, the, uh, the travel trailer that we have, 2018 uh, Jayco, has only one 12 volts outlet and it's in the rear of the travel trailer. So I'm gonna be mounting this on the nightstand or right by the uh, cabinet, uh, right above the uh, nightstand. And again, um, the, I like this model. It's a uh, five volts, 2.1 amps. Stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a video on how to install that. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. See you guys later. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now.